All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I have here a five pound bucket of potassium hydroxide. So here it is, potassium hydroxide. You can see the whole label here. So it says here that it's toxic by ingestion and inhalation, strong caustic, handle with gloves or tongs, corrosive to tissue. Sounds pretty uh, dangerous, doesn't it? Well, today I'm actually going to be using this as if it were a condiment. I'm going to be adding it to some food. If you had food that was bland, you'd add pepper to it. If you had food that was uh, not savory enough, you'd add some salt to it, you know, a little salt shaker. If you had some food that was too acidic, say uh, some uh, lemons, and it was hurting your teeth to eat it, what do you do? Well, I'm going to be making myself a little shaker of potassium hydroxide. Let's uh, go ahead and add some uh, water to this glass. There we go. Because potassium hydroxide is in fact toxic in large quantities and high concentrations. Like if I were to actually take some of these flakes like this and put them in my mouth, yeah, it would cause problems. It would actually react with the uh, fatty layers of the cells of my mouth, turning them to soap and effectively acting as if I put fire in my mouth. But if I dilute it significantly, it's not going to have the reactivity that it does when it's pure. Let's go ahead and give this here a stir. This all dissolved up. Many people comment on my videos that I do very dangerous things, and that is quite true. But the thing is, I work with poisons, but the fact that it's a poison doesn't make it a poison. It's the dose and concentration that makes it a poison. If you can dilute it down enough, it's not going to really do anything to you. In fact, in this case, it's going to be actually very beneficial. Let's go ahead and uh, add a little water to this. There we go. So we have roughly three or four grams of potassium hydroxide in this little squeeze bottle. Okay, let's move this aside. Let's start with this here uh, bottle of uh, sports drink. You notice I've taped over all the labels because nobody's uh, paying me to use their products. So here we go. So this is quite acidic. I mean, it's still drinkable, but to people who are very sensitive to it and who are watching their teeth, like me, it's, it's really too acidic. I can't drink this all the time. But a little squirt of uh, potassium hydroxide, just like that. Give this a mix, and mm, it's much more drinkable. And I didn't add enough to react with all the acids in there, but it's now a lot sweeter and it doesn't hurt my teeth as much. So what's going on is the citric acid and the uh, vitamin C that's in there, the, the, the acids, are reacting with the potassium hydroxide to form potassium citrate and other salts, which are not nearly as harmful to your teeth. You could use baking soda. I've seen a lot of people do that, or even sodium hydroxide, but I find potassium hydroxide tastes the best, and it doesn't increase the amount of sodium in your diet. In fact, potassium is really good for you. Let's go ahead and pour me a glass of this uh, orange drink here, and do the same thing. There we go. I really love orange juice, but it's really too acidic sometimes. Add in a little bit of that. You have a stir. Mmm. Makes it much better. I could actually drink this. I could drink an entire thing of this, and I wouldn't have to go brush my teeth afterwards. Now, for some lemons. Now, these are like 10% citric acid by weight. They're incredibly acidic. That's what gives them their tart flavor and uh, the sourness. Give them a little bit of this here. Move that around so I'm not getting like a really high concentrated all at once. Got to peel the skin off. Mmm. Look at that. I'm not even puckering up. It's completely edible now. <laughs> How about that? So I'm using potassium hydroxide as if it was a condiment. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.